Hi LEGO fans, I don't often review LEGO Minecraft sets and to be honest the last one I reviewed was pretty terrible. But LEGO have just released some new sets for 2018 and when I saw this I just had to get it. I mean it's got a massive chicken on the front. So today I'm going to unbox, speed build and review set number 21140, the chicken coop from LEGO Minecraft. This is one of the smaller sets with a part count of 198 and retails for about 20 US dollars. As the name suggests, this is quite literally a chicken coop and contains a giant chicken that lays eggs, two smaller chickens and a baby chicken. We've also got a minifigure, Alex, and a tamed wolf, which would make it a dog, surely. The back of the box gives us a better look at the set without the Photoshop detail around it. And if I'm not mistaken, and that's one of the brand new 2018 petal elements. For the most part this set seems to be designed for imaginative play. But we do get a little interactive feature with the chicken that lays eggs directly into a treasure chest. There's also a little patio area where Alex can hang out with the chickens and enjoy a glass of Chardonnay. Plus we've got some eggs, what looks like a mailbox and this really cool printed chicken sign. One of the things I really like about Minecraft sets is that there's never any stickers. So while this might not be the biggest Minecraft set ever made, it does look like great fun. And if you do want to see the biggest Minecraft set ever made, check out my review of set number 21137, The Mountain Cave, with 2,863 pieces. There's a link to that video on screen now. And without further ado, let's get this box open and see what we've got inside. Here's everything you get inside the box. We've got two numbered bags of Lego an 8x16 green base plate and a 67 page instruction manual. I'm going to go ahead and put together the chicken coop and today this is going to be a 25 second speed build. And here's a completed build. This took no time at all to put together, in fact the build was complete in about 15 minutes. But surprisingly for me not being a huge fan of Minecraft, I really really like this set. It's very colourful, it was fun to build and there's some great elements. Let's start out with a few corrections. I know I'm only three minutes into the video but I've already made a few mistakes. This thing that looks a little bit like a mailbox isn't a mailbox, it's a furnace. Despite how it might have looked on the box, Alex wasn't sitting on the patio enjoying a glass of Chardonnay. She was actually in the fenced area in front of the chicken coop feeding the chickens and that printed tile she's holding is grain, not a glass of wine. And finally the massive chicken isn't really a massive chicken, it's actually the chicken coop where the chickens lay their eggs. When the normal sized chickens need to lay their eggs, they simply hop up the stairs into the chicken coop and once inside they can lay their unfeasibly large eggs. The chicken coop has a convenient feature to help Alex collect the eggs. There's a trap door that's operated by pulling on this mechanism and eggs are conveniently deposited into the treasure chest. As well as being a convenient place to store the eggs, the treasure chest comes with some other accessories. We've got a chicken leg, a bone and a feather. Besides the unfeasibly large chicken that isn't really a chicken, there are three other chickens in this set. Chicken 1 with outstretched wings, chicken 2 with folded wings and a baby chicken which seems to consist of a chicken's head, a yellow stud and no wings whatsoever. The chicken heads are Minecraft exclusives and these are heavily modified elements. As you can see that's one complete piece with some dual moulding there for the beak and a lot of printing. If we take a look at the bottom there you can kind of see this is a very very different Lego element. But that is very very cool and it's great to get three of those in this set. At the front of the set and running under the yard we've got fresh water. You may have noticed the chickens don't like to spend much time inside the yard and that's probably exacerbated by the fact that somebody's left the doors open. But luckily we've got Alex with a handful of grain to tempt the chickens back inside. It seems to be working. That's much better. In the garden we do have some new for 2018 elements. We've got the new stackable flower stem, there's a new much chunkier flower element, there's a very cool and exclusive decorative chicken banner and I'm not sure if this is new or exclusive but the furnace contains a nice printed element and in common with other Minecraft sets there are plenty of studs all over the set so you can move things around and customise it to your liking. Thank you. 
Alex is the only minifigure we get inside this set, but she is a very good representation of how Alex looks in the video game. She's wearing plain brown pants and then this printed torso piece, which is very blocky, exactly as you'd expect to see it in Minecraft. I really like the curl of hair coming down over the shoulder, which again is exactly as it is in the game. And then we've got printing on the front of the head, but nothing on the back. A little bit of printing there on the back of the torso, and she's carrying this axe. And then finally this translucent element with the printed grains on, and those are tiny little blocks, which is very much in keeping with the Minecraft game. So even though we've only got one minifigure, the quality is very good. And I've not forgotten about the dog, sorry, Tamed Wolf. Uh, I guess he's tamed because he's got this collar on here. Um, he's pretty much made out of standard Lego elements, with the exception of this head. And this head is an exceptionally modified piece. As you can see, that's one single mold with printing and lots of different levels on there. You can even see by looking underneath, this is not an ordinary Lego brick. So that's very nice to get inside this set, very different. And that is our Tamed Wolf. So that was set number 21140, the chicken coop from Lego Minecraft. I have to admit, I'm very impressed with this set. It's a very imaginative build, it's attractive, and above all, it's fun to play with. It's also not a bad prize. It would have been better if it was $15, and if it was a LEGO Creator set, it probably would be. But for a licensed set, $20 isn't bad value for money. It also has a good range of printed custom pieces. For example, those dual molded chicken heads, the tamed wolf face, and the clear round tile that represents grain. It was also cool to get some new 2018 elements, including the stacking flower stem and those chunky petals. So this is a really nice LEGO set, and honestly, I think it could be one of the more memorable classics. As always, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing, speed build and review video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. I'm releasing two new LEGO review videos every single week, so you'll always find something new to enjoy on my channel. Thanks for checking out my content, stay safe, and we'll see you on the next build video.